All right, AT4 back last year with another tutorial for you. Uh, this one is going to focus on the cash object, um, how to store items, uh, even creatures, uh, so that you can call them back for use later. Um, some of you might be scratching your heads and, and asking yourself, why in the heck would I create an object and then store it just to call it back later? Wouldn't I just call it back later? Uh, the answer is yes, you can do that, but there are specific scenarios, uh, quite a few of them actually, in which you would want to do this. Uh, one of the things that you would want to do this in is if you have a custom map where you have stuff that you want to reappear, let's say... In my case, I figured out how to use the cache object because in my custom map ob uh, challenge completer, uh, I have a firing range and I have the 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 challenge arena area. Uh, problem is that there is no AI spawner for scientists. Okay, so you have to manually place a scientist. Right, as you can see here, I've placed 15 of them. Okay, and what happens is these 15 are here, and the way I had it before, they all had a little cl the closed eyeball above them, meaning that they were hidden from the start, and they would only show themselves once you used the panel. Well, a problem arose whenever I made the firing range over here. Uh, pardon the sign above everything. Um, when... When you're doing the firing range and you hit start and it starts spawning the creatures out here, whenever you stopped it, if the if the AI spawner, if the custom group encounter wasn't done, it's uh, with with whatever creatures were in it. Okay, and I have only two in each one of these. I have six in here. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have six of these. Group, uh, custom group encounters in here. Each one of them has six because you know uh, an event can only can only spawn twelve at a time. Okay, you can place however many you want, and they will be there. You you can put fifty in here manually, and they will be there. But whenever it comes to custom, whenever it comes to group encounters, not just a custom one, uh, but whenever it comes to any encounter that automatically spawns creatures, uh, you can only have twelve auto spawners, uh, uh, creatures that auto spawn at a time. Okay. So anyway, back to what I was saying. Uh, whenever you hit stop, I basically have this logic loop to run and it runs on a delay of 0.7 between repeats, 10 repeats. And uh, what it does is it goes through, it uses the AI proxy to kill all AI for each AI. It's going to iterate through all the AI, but it's not, they don't have one that's specifically set for, for just one module, and a module would be this room. Okay, so what happens is when that code runs, these 15 over here die. So, in response to that, I needed to figure out a way to where I wouldn't lose these 15. And you could use this kiosk after you've used the firing range. That, uh, that option was to use the uh, cach cached object, all right? So, first thing you do is unused get right and that's a command that's a command call to get whatever's in there okay then there's another command call let's see on changed let's see where's it at on changed hide okay <clears throat> on get there it is okay so on get, I've got a couple things going on. 
one, I'm testing the blue lane because that's going to send these creatures to go to either that green uh, AI path over there or the green AI path way off in the back over there. Okay. Um, but anyway, that's another thing. Um, so on map start, basically, as soon as the map map comes into play, uh, not using that one up there. Um, we do set, right? So show on spawn, on AI spawn. So for each one of those AI that spawn, we set them in the cache. This might be confusing to some of you guys. Okay. Whenever the creature spawns, this is how I have it set up. Whenever the creature spawns, I set the cache, which means it goes in there. Now here's the thing. That's why I have unchanged. Unchanged, I need to hide them, right? Because even though it's in the cache, they're still out here too. Okay? All we've done is set a cache. Okay? Now, what I've done is... Whenever, after the after you set cash, and then you hide every last one of these guys. I had them set to go here to teleport, but uh, I guess I I guess I took I guess I took that off. Um, now they just spawn right here in the front. But uh, you, you can tell them to. You can tell these guys to go wherever you want. So you, and you can cash anything. Um, if I wanted to, I'm picked up. Okay. Uh, any event that can be called. Uh, any action type event, right? On picked up. Um, on entered. On trigger used. On exited. On exited all. Uh, on exit, uh, I'll go into that in another tutorial. But anyway, so there you have it. Uh, it's it's quite easy. Okay. You can see back here that I had this code that kills all the AI. I'm gonna go ahead and run this and let you see how that works. Um, this this solved my problem. For, for this particular this particular map, right? Uh, you may have you may have things that you want to do like when a timer runs out, like let's say let's say you want to make your own custom uh, survival, okay? Uh, let's say you've got to defend this room. No creatures are to get past you and touch the green area, okay? Um, and you can do this by using AI paths and AI path com uh, combat path, okay? So, and let's say if they got past me and into this green area, set cached object, uh, set, uh, set the cached object, uh, store them, hide them, and then... At the end of the round, whenever there's no more to spawn, uh, or whenever they click on finish, you can iterate through the cached object to find out how many they missed. Or you can set a counter, right? Set a counter so you already know how many you've missed. Uh, that, that, that's another scenario. But let me go ahead and show you this. Okay. So you can hear them all blowing stuff up. Hit stop. Let's listen. Alright, they're all dead. Now, I'm over here. Scientists are still available. Get off me.
So that's it for this tutorial on how to use, uh, how to set and recall a cached object. Thanks for watching.